Hey guys, Kevin Bupp here, and in this video, we're gonna discuss whether or not you should accept Section 8 tenants in your mobile home park. Now, many mobile home park owners and landlords have concerns about renting to Section 8 tenants. They worry that these tenants will destroy the property and, and you'll keep other quality tenants from wanting to rent in that community. Also, many landlords have heard you know, horror stories about a Section 8 tenant you know, destroying a property and, and maybe even scaring other neighboring residents out of that community. Another place that I've heard horror stories are about the, you know, the constant Section 8 inspections that occur when you participate in the voucher program. And while I admit there can be negatives when dealing with Section 8, uh, which is also referred to as the Housing Choice Voucher Program, there too are also many advantages. And so I've narrowed them down to four key benefits. The first benefit, and probably the biggest one, are the guaranteed payments by the government. You know, this provides the advantage of receiving the rental payment consistently each month like clockwork. The Public Housing Authority will either mail you a check or they'll deposit the amount directly into your bank account. No longer will you have to pound on doors demanding your rent payment. The second benefit to the voucher program is the target marketing that you get. Now, when you participate in the voucher program, not only can you advertise the property on you know, the normal sites, traditional sites such as Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist, but Section 8 also has a website that is dedicated specifically to Section 8 tenants. It's called socialserve.com. And it, once you register there, you're free to post any Section 8 friendly listings that you have on the site. It's also a great resource as it allows you to target the Section 8 market specifically. You can also check with your local public housing authority in that many of the local offices have their very own online sites as well where you can list your rental property. The third benefit of the voucher program is the consistent tenant base. Now, when you allow Section 8 tenants into your property, you're opening up to a previously untapped tenant base. There's high demand for Section 8 vouchers across the country. In fact, many areas actually have wait lists of thousands of people long to be on that program. Therefore, you don't have to worry about having a shortage of Section 8 tenants to actually market to. Even if your market does not have a large number of tenants that are on Section 8, by accepting these tenants, you're not relying on them as the only way to fill your vacancy, but rather you're just increasing your prospective tenant pool. The fourth and final benefit of the voucher program is that the tenants have been pre-screened by the housing authority. Now, to qualify for Section 8 housing, tenants must meet certain requirements. The Section 8 office focuses their screening on the tenant's income level. However, they often uncover other issues while conducting that income screening, such as criminal history. Public housing authorities will not provide housing choice vouchers to those who have been evicted due to drug-related activities within the last three years. And so with that, guys, that's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it brought a lot of value to you in your business. If it did, please like it. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. You take care.